America is a tapestry of different cultures, ethnicities, races, religions, and identities. And despite the divisive moment, most Americans see our diversity as a superpower, the strength that sets us apart from other nations in the world. In our new series, Our American Village, we go inside diverse communities across the country to show that there is more than one way to be American. Today, we introduce you to Brooklyn bakery owner, Darrell Darwood. I'm Darrell Oswald Christopher. I've owned this establishment, Doc's Cake Shop, since 2012. The strawberry banana pudding. Have you had it? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Come in the kitchen, this is the lab. I'm a doctor of cakes. I can mix up different ideas and bring it together. Now, it pops in the oven. I have the red velvet cake. It's really delectable. The specialty is that it's southern style with rich, moist flavor. That's a strawberry cake. This is what we came for. I was born and raised in Bedford Stuyvesant. Went to school right around the corner, all along the sides of the cake. I was always in the kitchen with my grandmother. My grandfather is from Jamaica, West Indies. My grandmother is from Savannah, Georgia. I learned under my grandmother, learned how to make banana pudding, one, two, three, four cake, carrot cake, and seven up pound cake. Hey, how you doing? I've never dreamed of opening a cake shop. That wasn't my interest. I was thinking of doing multi-level marketing and business. I worked for a local cake store for about three years. I saw the amount of people that came in, said, why not open up something for myself? I felt the need to go into the cake business. Okay, this is yours. I went to my grandmother. She gave me her recipes. She told me to keep trying them, perfect them. So I perfected the recipes. I started out baking in my grandmother's kitchen. The oven was small, the kitchen was small, and I was receiving overwhelming orders. It was like a no-brainer to say, you know what, I need something bigger, I need to expand. My grandparents, they owned the building where we lived, and there was a church downstairs that used to rent from them. And now the space was available. So I said, oh, can I open up the cake business downstairs? And she said, are you sure you'd be able to handle the rent? I answered the questions. They finally said, yeah, you can try it out. One banana pudding? So I tried it out. And two pineapple coconuts? I was told that this cake store wouldn't do well. Yeah. There wasn't many businesses in this area. Enjoy. We've stuck it out, and that was March 2012. And we're here nine years later. Success comes to those who stick with it. I do want the peach cobbler. That's what I came here for. We've become a beacon of light to the community. Oh, man, that is so moist. The business helps the neighborhood to thrive. Very good. I'm almost done. The community feeds off the business, and the business feeds off the community. A banana pudding. Truly good. It really helps to build the community up, so it's a great thing. Thank you. Perfect. My name is Darrell Darwood, and Bedford-Stuyvesant is my American village. Good to see you, Good to see you, good to see you, yes. You know what I like, this is chocolate. Our American Village is an ongoing series that will stream here on CBS News and live permanently on CBS Village, the CBS News race and culture website. We'll be right back.